In this microcast, we're going to talk about memory usage on the Raspberry Pi. I'll show you how to look at current memory usage and understand how your memory is being used by the Pi. Finally, I'll show you how to give your CPU access to a little extra RAM if you need it. The first thing to remember is that the Raspberry Pi is just running a flavor of Linux, so we have access to most of the command line utilities you'd have on a regular Linux machine. In my case, I'm running Raspbian, which is based on the Debian distribution. The easiest way to see our memory usage is to use the free command. If we type free-m, we'll see the following information. We have the total here at 374, along with the used and free amounts. We can also get the same information from another source. In fact, it's the same source that the free utility uses, the meminfo file. If we do cat slash proc slash meminfo, we get a lot more detailed information about system memory usage. I won't cover what all of these mean, but you can see the important ones right here at the top, memtotal and memfree. So let's come back to the output of the free command. I have a Model B Raspberry Pi, which has 512 megs of RAM. So why am I only seeing 374 megs as the total? Well, an important thing to remember about the Pi is that the CPU and GPU share the same 512 megs of RAM, and the free command is only showing us the CPU portion. So how do we see the GPU RAM allocation? Let me show you two ways. The first is to run the sudo raspy-config command. We'll select option eight, and then option A3, memory split. It asks us how much memory should the GPU have, and the default for Raspbian is 128 megabytes. That means the GPU is currently using 25% of our total RAM. Now, if you're like me and like to primarily run your Pi in command line mode or headless, then this is serious overkill. So let's change this down to the minimum of 16 and hit enter to save it. Then we'll go ahead and say finish. As you might have guessed, this will require a reboot for our changes to take effect. So Raspy Config kindly asks us if we'd like to do that now, and we'll say yes. With our Pi booted back up, I want to show you the second way to see your GPU memory allocation, and that's by looking directly in the file that Raspy Config writes to. So we'll do a cat on the config.txt file located in the boot folder. And you'll see right at the bottom of the file, we have GPU underscore mem equals 16, which tells us the GPU is allocated 16 megs of memory. A quick way to just grab that line is to grep the output of our cat command by doing cat slash boot slash config dot text pipe grep GPU. Now that we've lowered the GPU usage, let's run our free command again. Now wait a minute, it still says 374 megs is our total. This is caused by a known issue that prevents you from setting the GPU memory usage below 32 megs on the Model B. Supposedly you can set it to 16 on the Model A, but if the value is below 32 on the Model B, then it uses the default of 128. So let's fix this. This time we'll edit the file directly by using sudo nano slash boot config.txt. We'll just come down to the bottom and set GPU underscore mem equal to 32. We'll go ahead and save and exit and then we'll reboot. Okay, our Pi is booted back up, so let's try the free command one more time. Much better. Now we're seeing a total of 469 megs. But if you're doing the math in your head, something still isn't quite right. If we pull our calculator over here and do 512 minus 32, you'll see that we get 480, not 469. So what happened to the other 11 megs of RAM? Well, don't panic, the Pi is working just fine. An important thing to remember about the free command is that it does not include memory mapped by hardware devices or memory used by the actual Linux kernel. 
So it's reasonable to say that those things account for the remaining 11 megs. In fact, there's one last command I want to show you to verify that all of the memory is there and accounted for, and that's the dmessage command. We won't display the entire output of this command, but if we run dmessage pipe grep memory colon, you'll see that the total memory is listed as 480 megs at boot time. Remember, if you're running your Pi from the command line or with no display at all, turning the GPU memory allocation down can free up a significant amount of RAM that's otherwise wasted. To help you use this information in your own projects, I've included some sample Python and Node.js code in the show notes. And that does it for this episode of Microcasts. If you found this video informative or helpful, please subscribe. I'd also love to hear from you with any comments, questions, or episode suggestions. Thanks, and happy hacking.